everyone, welcome back to Brisk Bites. We have reached the point in our tour where we are diving into Brisk's feedback tools. And at the very beginning of our tour of Brisk, we already looked at the targeted feedback generator. We know how powerful that thing is. Brisk has some other feedback tools for us, though, that are just as useful. In fact, maybe even more tailored to what you need to do with your students. Um, So here's some just-in-time feedback things that we can provide for students. We're going to start right here looking at the glow and grow today. You may use this strategy with your students already, but I bet you haven't tried it with a little um, AI razzle-dazzle. So we're going to use the glow and grow. We're starting right here from the main Brisk tools page, which you can always find at bit.ly slash try brisk tools. Now, normally we'd just click try it from here in the uh, sandboxy tools page, but I happen to have one loaded up over here. So we'll uh, come pop over here. This is a sample of uh, seventh grade writing, uh, personal narrative. So we're going to go ahead and summon brisk here. And this time we're going to choose give feedback. We've got four choices in the feedback menu. We've already played a little bit with the targeted feedback at the very beginning of the brisk bites. So if you haven't experienced that one, circle on back because that one is a beauty. Uh, This time we're playing with glow and grow. So we're going to look at areas of strength and growth and probing questions. Let's go ahead and click that. Uh, I'm going to select my standards or I can upload a rubric. Uh, so we've we've played a little bit with rubrics. We know how those work now. If you have a tried and true or you've made one with Brisk, you could pop that in here. I'm going to go ahead and go through the process of selecting some standards. And we are going to be doing a little bit of writing and this is going to be um, narrative. So I'm going to select a few standards there. And I have a focus of using um, quotations and dialogue. That's what I'd like to get a little bit of glow and grow for my students today. And I go ahead and select that grade level down here too. And let's brisk it and see what brisk comes up with for our students. Now you'll notice that it's not generating in the Google Doc. This is a little different for us. It's actually generating in a pop-up window. So you'll see over here in the window, we've got a glow, we've got a grow, and we've got a wondering. So this is sort of that extension. I can also go ahead and just say, insert. Now what it's done is it's gone to the top of the page where the student will see it very at the very first when they get their paper back or get it redelivered digitally, and they'll have that nice table there for them with some glow and grow. So there you go. There's a glow and grow brisk bite, and we hope we'll see you back here for another one soon.